Freedom. Freedom is a state of openness of speech, behavior, and invulnerability. It is not without consequences, though. Our freedom is always associated with responsibilities. This means you can't speak your mind, you can't behave the way you want, or you would be vulnerable. All this contradicts the very definition of freedom. Are we playing a game? We seem to have too many rules to follow just to exercise our right to choose, giving us a pseudo sense of being free. Are we fooling ourselves into thinking we are free when we are all busy choosing from the given options? Is having choices truly freedom then? Being a philosophical junkie, I'd say choices take away the freedom to flow with life. Our natural state is the state of vulnerability. One where your only option is to move forward and let your body's native intelligence take over. Analyzing options could mean death by an impulse-driven predator or unpredictable nature. Haven't you heard that thinking slows you down? But all our ideas are born out of thought. We operate contrary to nature. We are encouraged to think, analyze, and then make decisions. But we cannot do that unless we box things. We need it to be finite, defined, and identified for us to focus. That means we are constantly worried about other things and not ourselves. Perhaps eliminating our state of thoughtfulness would be best. We can then be free of the separation needed to solidify our existence. Therefore, the absence of the idea of freedom is true freedom. Is that even acceptable? If this was thought-provoking, read my books to get further provoked. Thank you for watching. 